The International Boat Show was held in Cape Town on the weekend. Business Day went along to see what boats were on display, who can afford to buy them, and what are the risks involved when buying your own floating palace. Uh, Tokyo Sukwali was one of the, the forerunners of buying into power, power boats, and um, we have quite a, quite a number of owners who are delving into and realizing that once you've got a home, got a second home, have three or four cars, what's next? So instead of investing overseas, they can invest in a boat locally, which is fantastic for entertaining. It is fantastic, it's a portable asset which you can move to anywhere in the world and it's got a brand name. Uh, you can move it to Mauritius or Seychelles or Europe or South Africa. Our marinas need to be upgraded. They, they, they lag behind the rest of the world, but they, they're not bad, but they're not good. It's a great rare gauge. Yeah. First, so, you know, the major manufacturers, their boats are priced in dollars and euros, so you, know, you can spend your rands and buy yourself an offshore asset. If it goes into any of the charter organizations, you get a return. If you have a boat with moorings or sunset or major charter companies, you get, I think it's 8% returns. Every month you get a check for five years. And they don't own any of the boats. They're all owned by individuals. They then charter company operates them and manages them. You get a positive return and you get your four, five, six weeks a year usage on your boat or any other boat anywhere else in the world.